In this video, I'll show you two different methods on how you can odorlessly decarb. The first method is using the Ardent Nova. Remove the Ardent multi-tool from the box. Because the Ardent is an electrical device, we recommend placing it on a countertop or someplace out of reach of children and pets and away from water. Twist the top black cover off the Ardent and remove the inner container. Place your previously purchased cannabis inside the container. The Ardent holds up to one ounce of cannabis depending on the density or three to five ounces of concentrate. Please do not attempt to exceed the amount or jam material into the container. Note that the material does not need to be ground up. It can be placed in the container as is, stems and all. The beauty of the Ardent is that you can use a lot of material or just a tiny bit. Place the lid on the inner container and slide the container into the Ardent. The purple silicone lid sits loosely on the base to create an airtight seal. Place the black cover on and twist to click into place. Push the button with the Ardent A at the bottom of the multi-tool so that the light turns from green to red, indicating that the process has begun. If you need to stop the process, hold the power button down for 10 seconds until the light turns green. This will stop the cycle. Once the light turns green, you're done. The entire process takes about an hour and a half to two hours and you have perfectly decarbed bud every time. Here you can see that it's evenly decarbed and brown. Another method to achieve an odorless decarb is to place your buds inside of a mason jar and put your mason jar into a toaster oven. This is far less effective, however, as I will now demonstrate. So I've placed it into the toaster oven for an hour and 15 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. While both methods shown here are completely odorless, the Ardent Nova is able to monitor its temperature and perfectly decarb every time. Whereas placing into an oven like this has a variable temperature where it keeps turning itself on and off to try and achieve 250 degrees Fahrenheit and it does not measure the temperature of the container or jar. I let the unit cool down for about half an hour before pulling it out. And here you can see that the bud is slightly browned, but not nearly as much as the decarb from the Nova. It still looks pretty green, so even after an hour and 15 minutes, this is not fully decarbed and not fully activated. You can really see the difference in this comparison shot. One is basically still green and the other is quite browned. Now, the one on the left is not fully decarbed and will not get you as high for edibles. You'll be wasting a lot of the THC. The Ardent is also great for decarbing concentrates if you're making THC pens or just edibles with a concentrate. To do so, they have this concentrate infusion sleeve. So it's just a silicone sleeve that you can place inside the inner container and it allows you to directly place your concentrates or infusions into the sleeve. You can also make edibles directly in this. So here I'm showing you that I put some coconut oil into the sleeve as well as dropped in one of the already decarbed buds. Then I just drop it into the inner container and place it into the Ardent and turn it on. The Ardent is great for making infusions with butter, coconut oil or pretty much any oil or fat. Now it automatically runs this process and once it's done, I was able to pour it out and have a nice coconut oil infusion that I could use for baking. You can also use the Ardent to decarb your concentrates by placing it directly into the sleeve or inside of a glass container inside the sleeve. Be careful to allow your unit to cool before opening as it can be quite hot immediately after use. I like to let it sit for half an hour before I open it when the light turns green. I didn't use enough coconut oil to fully cover the bud. You're gonna want to do that, but it looks like it's still soaked through sufficiently and I was able to get some good color in the coconut oil resulting from this. So I think it still had some fair amount of potency. The bud here is not significantly more brown than when I put it in, so I do know that the oil coated it and stopped it from further decarbing. That is why you want to place already decarbed weed when using an infusion, even though this is a decarb oxalator. All right, so thanks for checking it out. If you want to purchase this, you can find a link to purchase it in the description, and I get a 15% referral fee for each purchase, so it really helped me out. I've also started a Patreon if you want to check that out. There's a link in the description as well. Thanks, and have a great day.